Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel that is still a learner. So today in this class we are going to see a small beautiful story and the name of the story is a never ending story. Okay, wait, what are you thinking? Do you think that a story never ends? I don't think so. Every story has an end. But how is it possible that a story will never end? Today's class is going to be very fun without skipping just have a look. Okay, this story is all about a king who likes to listen stories. But one day he just made some twist. What's that? When we enter into the story then only we know what was that. Okay, before going to start this story, I would like to ask you some questions. Just think for a while, would you like to become a king? If s yes, why? Why what is why why do you want to become a king do you think there is any difference between king's life when compared to ordinary man's life what is the difference i think there is a huge difference why because we can't get all the facilities all the power all everything in all the sense what one king's or else queen has isn't it okay and secondly i would like to ask king has the power to do everything whatever he wants he made his slaves to do for him okay what happened if no one follow his commands no one will stand on his commands for example the king has a desire to turn a plant into a money tree is that possible can we turn a simple plant into a money tree no we can't i don't think so no it's never happened or else the desire of the king is to turn a thief into a saint is that possible no do you know who is saint saint is a person who leave worldly things for the sake of god he just spend all his life in search of god he do all the in other words i can say that he is a pure soul he is devotee isn't it can we turn a thief into a saint is that possible no and can anyone tell a story that will never end is that possible no this one also not possible why because every story has an end without an end there is no story but here in this story how is that possible how a story will never end why how so this is what we are going to see in this story okay let's start what is our title a never ending story Once there was a king he was very fond of listening stories he rewarded good storyteller so good storytellers used to come from far off places once he announced i shall give a lot of money to the person who will narrate a never ending story if the story ends the storyteller will be jailed so here in this story there was a king he loved to listen stories not only that he used to give a huge amount of money to the storyteller if that story makes him happy so what happened once he thought that is there any story which never ends ah oh, it might be very good so then he talked to his mantri to announce everyone along the kingdom about this then this mantri announced to all the people in the kingdom that uh, now the king wants to listen a story that will never end the one who will say who will narrate this type of story then king will give gifts and a huge amount of money to the storyteller and if the story ends he will be jailed so let's see what happened next many storytellers thonged his court to try their luck The stories or the storyteller never went beyond one week. Many storytellers were defeated in their bid. All of them were jailed. They were very unhappy with the king. One day a storyteller came and said, "I shall tell a never ending story." The king said, "Do you know the results if your story ends?" The storyteller said, "I shall accept the jail gracefully, but" if my story never ends i shall not accept cash amount kind god has given me enough to eat 
enough to eat so what happened many story tellers thonged his coat means so after listening to this announcement story teller rushed to the court here thon is nothing but crowd then people rushed to the court to present themselves so the king gave chance to everyone who came there to tell their story they started to tell a story that will never end they tried their best here defeated is nothing but efforts they showed all their efforts but unluckily their story never went beyond one week so it means up to one week they managed to say the story after one week they fail their story has to be end so they can't prolong story furthermore so what happened they were all jailed who were fail in doing so all of them they were very unhappy with the king so next day another story teller came and said i shall tell a never ending story he was confidently saying to the king that i will tell you a story that will never ends then the king replied o oh stranger do you know the result if your story ends then that stranger smiled and said that i know i have to accept the jail gracefully and my condition is that if i succeed in doing so if i tell you a story that never ends then i don't want your bid or cash amount anything else because god has given me god has blessed me with enough to eat to fill my stomach then the king said that okay tell me what is your condition if it is acceptable then i shall ask you to tell the story the story teller said if i tell a never ending story you shall set free all the story tellers who have been jailed in their venture the king agreed and asked him to start telling his story the next day so what happened after listening to him very confidently then he raised a question to that stranger that okay tell me stranger what is your condition if your condition is acceptable for me then only i will allow you to tell me a story or else i won't allow then then that stranger told him that if i tell a never ending story you have to free all the story tellers who have been jailed okay this is my condition then the king allowed him to start telling the story the next day let's see what happened next the next day came the king sat in his stately chair his courtiers were sitting with great patience the story teller bowed before the court and took his chair so what happened the very next day he came to the court and he observed that court was full and the king sat in his honorable state like he was waiting for someone and every member in the court were all sitting in great patience then this stranger bowed his head to the king took a chair and sit in front of the king next what happened see the story teller started telling the story he said that there was a farmer he was very hard working he plowed his field at proper time he watered his field properly he sowed the harvest at proper time he weeded out the unwanted plants he sprinkled the proper manures at the proper time he was telling a story about a farmer who is very hard worker this farmer every day he goes to his field he do a lot of hard work there he plowed his field at proper time he watered the fields then he sowed the seeds then he cut all the harvest harvest in the sense collecting all the grains or food after some time that is what harvesting means so he collect all the pro- harvest at proper time he weeded out the unwanted plants while the plants were growing in the middle of the plants there was some unwanted plants which grows along with the particular plant so he just weeded out weeded out means he just removed all the unwanted plants he cut off all the unwanted plants then he sprinkled the manures at proper time here manures is nothing but the wastage comes from animals and 
plants that is washed manure means this manure is spilled in the fields to grow give health to the plant roots that's why these manures were used this farmer did all his work at proper time like that he said then what happened once he sowed bajra or millet crop in his field the clouds rained at proper time he ploughed his field properly the crop was excellent he even owned the grains and collected it properly the farmer has no gunny bags he stored the bajra grains in a big store the store had a big hole on its wall some sparrows flew in through the hole they noticed bajra grains they were happy then what happens once the farmer ploughed the fields and sowed the bajra grains that is what millet crop means okay and luckily the crowds were rained at proper time the fields were grown at proper time and the crop was excellent and then he start harvesting the field harvesting the crop and he collected all the bajra grains and put it in a big store why because he don't have any gunny bags do you know what is gunny bags this is what gunny bags means so as he don't have any gunny bags that's why he thought of storing all the grains in a storeroom in a big store but what happened that big store has one hole on the top of the on the top of it wall once what happened while the sparrows passing by they just observed the hole and they went inside and saw the bajra grains there and the sparrows were very happy to see that grain so as soon as they noticed the grains there what happened next let's see let's have a look one of the sparrow took some grains in its beak and flew out with fluttering sound the next sparrow came it also took some grains in its beak and came out fluttering from the hole so what happened as soon as the sparrows noticed the grain inside the big store they started coming inside one after the another and collecting the grains in its beak beak do you know what is beak means Yes, this is what their mouth we call it as beak. So they started collecting the grains in its beak and flew out with fluttering sound. Fluttering here, fluttering means going quickly by making sound. Going quickly, moving quickly, or coming out quickly, happily by collecting the grains in its beak. So after that, next another sparrow goes in. Why? Because the hole is very small only one sparrow can go at one time okay like that next sparrow came he also did the same he came in he collected the grains in its beak and came out fluttering from that hole so like that it was happened so next what happened the storyteller repeated the sentence one sparrow flew in it took some grain and flew out fluttering from the hole so here the stranger i mean the storyteller repeat repeating the same sentence again and again like one after the another sparrow flew in took some grain and coming out and flew out fluttering from the hole so by listening to the repeated sentence let's see the state of king and what he told the king was fed up with this sentence he said let us process further what happened next the storyteller said sir it will take the sparrow years to eat up the whole grains the farmer will reap the next crop and will store in the same store the next part of the story will start only when the sparrows has emptied the whole grains here you just observe the smartness of the storyteller of the stranger here what he replied when the so when the king got angry when the king was fed up with the same sentence that he was repeating again and again he said to the stranger he said to the storyteller let us process further you just process it what happened you just tell me what happened next just let me know <clears throat> then he smartly replied to the king that sir how could i tell what happened next why because one after the another sparrow is entering in taking out the grains and going back it will take years for the sparrows to complete all the grains from the store then this process is not stopping why because 
as the sparrow is taking all the grains from its mouth here the farmer is reaping the next crop and storing in the same store and means the store is not emptying so how could i tell you the next part of the story i will tell you when the whole grains in the store will emptied it is impossible then have a look what happened the king was very much disappointed the king accept that the story would never end he accepted his defeat and freed all the storytellers who were in the prison the storyteller was congratulated by all the storytellers for helping their fellow professionals so at last what happened the king was very disappointed after listening this why because really this story not going to take an end this process is going on so he accepted that this story would never end that's why yes, he set free all the story tellers who were in his jail so next what happened this smart story teller was congratulated by all the other story tellers all the other fellow of story tellers why because he saved them from the prison so this is the end of the story i hope guys you all enjoyed and understood the story thank you so much for watching bye bye